With murders up nearly 80% in Chicago last month, Lori Lightfoot blames guns. So as predictable as the sunset and as the sun rising, progressive big city cretinous traitors just, just lie constantly. All progressives do is lie 100% of the time without exception. Because rather than get at the, the root of the, of the problems, you know, they deflect, they lie. But anyway, let's go over this real quick. Shootings and homicides in Chicago increased sharply in June compared to the same time last year because of the riots that the left drummed up. Uh, police data show that shootings in Chicago increased by 75% in June of 2020 compared to June of 2019, and murders in the city rose by 78%, according to NBC5 Chicago. Right. I mean, because we're, I believe during the COVID thing, you know, they released a whole bunch of prisoners. Um, it just seems like almost, this is almost by design. You know, they keep people caged in their apartments for a few months because of the COVID-19 thing. They release prisoners and then they overhype this George Floyd thing to drum up riots in the streets. And it's just like, no shit. You guys are intentionally drumming this up for clicks or ratings or something. I don't know. I don't know what kind of corruption this is other than that. So let's look over the data here. In June of this year, 424 people were shot and 89 were murdered compared to 242 shootings and 50 murders during the same month last year. That's a huge jump. Last weekend alone, gun violence killed more than a dozen people, including three children. Black Lives Matter, am I right? 12 people were killed on Father's Day weekend, including a three-year-old. Here we go. The city plans to deploy 1,200 extra officers over the 4th of July. So, yeah, they deployed 1,200 extra officers over the 4th of July weekend. Uh, It should be 12,000, and it should be indefinitely, okay? Isn't the murder rate in Chicago, like, way higher than Afghanistan? Isn't this, like, widely accepted and and shown to be true? The murder rate's higher than Afghanistan. We're basically talking about a freaking war zone, if black lives truly matter to black lives matter, they would be advocating for more cops, not no cops. Okay? These people, these, these BLM criminals are just that. They want to create a milieu where it's easier for them to do mob violence and kill people and maim people. That's ultimately what it is. Yeah, they need more cops, not less. Okay? So when asked about the rise in violence, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, a Democrat, said it was quote, complicated question, and just suggested that gun control is the answer. She says, that's a complicated question, Lightfoot said. We have way too many guns on the streets. Mm, no. No, no. That's just a ridiculous urban pathology. This idea that, you know, guns in and of themselves are the problem. No, guns in the hands of people that are horrible, that's the problem. And the fact that we don't throw the book at people when they fuck up with a gun, that's the problem. Because we, we need conservative men to be in charge, ultimately. That's ultimately what we need. If we want a tough-on-crime system where gun violence is just an afterthought, it's like a, it's like a, if we have a world where gun violence is just like a pimple of a problem, we, we can't have this. We, we, we simply just can't, you know? But, uh... Let's see. Lightfoot also suggested that the coronavirus shutdowns that kept people inside for months played a role in creating a, quote, perfect storm, while also pointing out the death of George Floyd as an event that sparked anger in the community. Basically reaffirming what I just said before. They overhyped the coronavirus shutdowns to get people caged in their houses, riled up, you know, they release prisoners due to the COVID thing. They... They drum up riots in the streets with corporate media pandering. This was all, I mean, like, in my opinion, this was all orchestrated. Months before an election, you know? I mean, like, come on, people. Let's see. Fraternal Order Police President John Katazanzara shifted some of the blame onto local officials, including Lightfoot, for criticizing police and making it harder for for them to do their jobs. Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. Quote, he says, when the top official in the city is blaming the police for everything that's wrong to hide their inefficiencies and inadequacies, it definitely makes people stop and wonder, quote, what am I doing? Am I going home? Am I going to have a job tomorrow? Am I going to be in jail next week? 
Yeah, I mean, in, 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 as far as like the Atlanta issue with Rayshard Brooks, are you going to defend yourself against assault with a deadly weapon while uh, the dude is resisting arrest and then face potentially the death penalty? And if, if that cop is found, uh, if he's acquitted of the charges like he should be, are people going to start rioting and burning shit all over again? Or can, or, or can continue the, the, the thread of rioting? Um, police did say that the crime in the city overall has gone down 9% through the end of June, but did not provide overall crime data for June specifically. Okay, well, it's just through the roof. It doesn't really matter. It's a war zone. They need more cops. They need cops to be able to do their jobs without media trashing them, without the pundit class trashing them, without the academic class trashing them, without their own mayors trashing them. And, I mean, again, like the root of this is that we need a, a tough on crime right-wing dude in there. That's what we need. Hardcore, shit-kicking, you know, like RoboCop kind of persona. You know what I mean? That's what we need. That's what the black, that's what the black community needs. Okay, if that if black lives truly mattered, they'd be putting away the criminals. They'd be putting away the gangbangers. They'd be putting away people that screwed up with guns forever. Okay, they'd be removing that element from society so that businesses can come back, so that families can thrive. That's what they'd be doing, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it. They're blaming guns. They're blaming guns. They're, 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 they're blaming, you know, the perfect storm that they orchestrated with their lies about COVID and they're releasing prisoners and they're drumming up riots in the streets, drumming up racial animus against whites. No one's lives matters to these nihilistic cretins. They, they're, they're, they're Satanist lizard people. <laughs> but I digress. I've gone on long enough of a rant. If you enjoy this content, share it, upload it, you know, Subscribe and uh, give me money through my, not my Patreon, but my PayPal, my subscribe star. Maybe I'll work on getting some kind of a merch store uh, that leftists can't take down. If you have any suggestions about a based and red pilled sort of merch store, if, if such a thing even exists, please let me know. But uh, otherwise, subscribe me.